right, thank you so much for joining us for the first year video for the Honor Science Program here at Laurier. I'm joined today by Dr. Ken Malley, who's a professor within the department along with two of our students. So my name is Christina and I work with the recruitment team here at Laurier and we'll begin with some introductions before jumping into our questions. Hi everyone, my name is Akine and I'm a third year health science student. Hi guys, I'm Esther, I'm also a third year health science student. Hi everyone, my name is Ken Malley and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry and I'm also currently the Vice Dean in the Faculty of Science and I often teach upper year organic chemistry courses. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedules to join us today. I think what I would like to begin with is asking you what the most important part of the first year experience of the Honor Science Program is. Um, I think I can speak to that, and I think that the uh, most, important, most important experience or most important thing when coming into first year um, as an honor science student is event essentially goal setting, so realizing what you want to get from your undergraduate degree, what you would like to do during your time as a university student, um, and also the fun aspect of making friends because those friends will stick with you throughout the next four years of your undergraduate degree. If you have labs, um, you'll work with some of those friends that you've also made in first year. And I think also just getting used to the school environment. Um, so university is a very different feel when you compare it to high school. Um, so getting used to that environment, getting used to professors, how you can socialize with friends, professors, um, and essentially just create an essential good environment for you as a student. Yeah, I totally agree with everything Ethne said. Um, another thing I would add to that is definitely trying to get involved, like with goal setting, like depending on what to do, like talk to professors, ask what research they're into, um, because we do have research opportunities for undergrads here at Laurier because our school is a very much undergrad school. Um, in addition, like join clubs, associations, you know, whatever you want to do in the future, whether that's dental school, like med school, pharmacy, there's a club and association for all those things. So you can really get together with like-minded people, which is really important. So that's what I would add on to what Ekne said. That's great. I, I'd like to add on as well. I mean, I think Ekne and Esther pointed out some of the great things that you should do to develop your student experience. On the academic side, the Honor Science Program is a great option because what it does is it gives you a breadth of courses across the sciences that helps you sort of figure out and test the waters to figure out what you want to do and what major you might want to pursue so that you can select a major after first year. So it, it's really about giving you the time to, to figure out your interests. And then um, if you really have a lot of interest, you can stay in the honor science program and just have a lot of flexibility. So one of the key features of the program is its flexibility. I think that's great to know because it can be so intimidating to have to pick a program right from grade 12, but it's great that you have the flexibility to test the water before you, you commit to doing one of those programs. Um, now, speaking to the actual courses in the first year workload as a science student in the Honor Science Program, um, what would you, you have to share with any potential students about that? Um, I think for, in terms of workload, I can speak for here um, as a health science student. And the workload um, is not as intense as everybody will tell you it is coming into university. And so you've probably heard the stories of how university is going to be a killer course load. No one's going to be able to keep up. That's not true. People do graduate with degrees and there is help all around you at Laurier from staff um, and from clubs, essentially to make sure that you're getting everything done. I think the most difficult part uh, making that transition is remaining organized. If you are organized, you can essentially complete everything that's given to you and just make sure assignments are handed on time, you study for tests appropriately, etc. Um, but once again, that comes with just getting the feel for what university is, which is why that is such an important factor of coming in as a first year student. But once you get that feel, the university is not as bad as it seems. Yeah, I agree. Um... It's definitely very manageable, like Ekene said. It's not like, oh, you're going to fail. Your average is going to drop like 10%. It's not like that at all. It's very manageable. And um, with honor science, you usually, and health science, we take biology, calculus, and chemistry, um, general first year courses that you take anywhere else. 
And those, if you take those in grade 12, it's almost half, of, more than half of it, it's like review of grade 12. So it's not like that intense. You don't jump into a whole new, like you don't jump into organic chemistry. You review everything you learned the past year in high school. Um, and just like Ekne said, staying on top of your, all your assignments is very important because although it's manageable, if you just lack on one thing, things will start piling up and that's, it's not a fun, fun time. Yeah, just to add to that, to, to give sort of a concrete example of, of what a typical course load would be is most students would take five courses a semester and each of those courses would have three hours of lecture. Um, for many of the courses in the sciences, they would also have labs. A lot of times those would be a, um, every other week, uh, either a two or a three hour lab. So it gives you an idea that you know, you've got 15 hours of lecture a week, plus probably depending on your uh, exact courses you're taking, maybe five to 10 hours of labs, uh, not necessarily every week though. Um, so um, they're absolutely right that it is manageable. I think the key thing is to, to stay organized and stay on top of things because you do have time available to, to do the work that you need to do. And I know with regards to that organization, there's also resources available to Laurier students on campus to help with that and to help um, plan for your assignments. So we never want anybody to feel like they're unable to be successful. We're always going to make sure you have what you need to be successful. Absolutely. Um, and in addition, we know that Laurier is so rich with experiences um, related to the courses and the programs in and inside and outside the classroom. But I'm wondering if you could speak to some of the opportunities that you've had for experiential learning, either in the science programs that you're in are also outside of those programs as well. Yeah, so um, I think a big thing with science or coming to university as a science student is research. Um, the second you step in, someone will tell you about research within the first week. It happened to me, it happened to all of my friends. Um, and then it becomes a really big goal um, that you kind of set or kind of want to feel or get a feel for. Um, because essentially everything that we learn as scientists comes from some sort of research. So it's kind of see cool to see firsthand what the foundation of this science is. Um, and research is like readily available, I would say, at Laurier because of, uh, of how undergraduate heavy we are. Um, so we don't have a lot of graduate students as as many graduate students, sorry, as other universities do. And for that reason, a lot of profs are open to taking in undergraduate students for research opportunities. Um, I've actually had research opportunities ever since my first year. So since first year till now as a third year student, I've done some form of research in a faculty of science department. I mean, it's gone really well because that bolsters your it bolsters your resume. I mean, it also obviously gives you experience that you can talk about when you go to apply later on. Also on that note, um, there's several different clubs. If research is not something you're focused on, there's several different clubs that you could sign up for. Um, I'm sure Esther can speak for clubs, so I won't speak too much on that. But also SI. Um, so coming into university, I was really scared that I was just going to in the deep end, um, not have resources around me, not have anybody to help me. But the thing about Laurier is with that community fill, we have plenty of resources. So we have supplemental instruction, which is where a leader, I'm a biology supplemental instructor, um, where we will review essentially the content from the previous week. So the professor, um, we stay close, we stay in close contact with the professor. Um, we come to lectures, so we sit in all of the lectures that you would sit in as a first year student, and then we essentially review that content in a smaller classroom size, just to make sure that everybody is keeping up with the learning. Um, and I believe that's all I have to say, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, although I haven't been like acne being an instructional assistant or an SI instructor, um, I have been to a lot of those things. They have really helped me with school. Um, like with calculus, there's the Math Assistance Center where they have students upper years who have got like 100% on the course you're taking and they'll help you with the questions you may have for the assignments and also like the biology ones. I used I didn't go to the biology ones, but I did go to the chemistry ones. They had um, someone like Ekene who would go over everything from the past week, um, the question, um, certain questions that will help you um, study for your midterm or uh, quizzes and stuff like that. They were really beneficial for me. Yeah, I just, I, I'd like to add and amplify some of the points that, that Ekene and Esther have made about um, the opportunities to get involved, especially as an upper year student, um, the opportunity to be an instructional assistant or a, a supplemental instruction leader. Um, these are really opportunities to develop your communication teaching skills. Um, 
and and also solidify your knowledge of the subject matter and and these are actually paid opportunities these, these are not just volunteer things so um if you know finances are on your mind some of these are opportunities are are available to you as as work um same thing with research um the opportunity to get involved with research as a lab research assistant or something like that is definitely there uh, on top of that, within courses, there are opportunities to get involved, get hands-on experience. Of course, in the sciences, labs are a big thing. We have labs in many of our courses, so you develop your technical skills and your research skills. Um, we also have opportunities such as co-op, um, which is um, typically you apply to co-op after uh, first year, and so you can have two co-op placements over the summer uh, of after second year and after third year. We also, in psychology in particular, have something called community service learning, and sometimes this is built into courses where you're actually going out into the community um, as part of your learning requirements for a course. So it's a great um, experiential learning opportunity there. Um, I Okay, this is always the hardest question that I have to ask from everybody. So I know it's going to be impossible to try to pick just one, but I'm wondering if you could tell me what your favorite first year memory is as a science student at Laurier. So I think my favorite first year experience um, was coming into science. I was obviously, I came from a very small um, local high school. So I was not used to even having this many people around me, let alone this many people on um, lecture halls and clubs and people that I could talk to, for example. Um, and through making friends, I kind of set my goals for what I wanted to do within the next four years. For example, um, one of my friends had joined the emergency response team on campus um, and I saw that happening. I saw my SI leaders in the weekly basis when we'd go in for biology SI or chemistry SI. Um, I saw my instructional assistants from chem and essentially what I kind of did was kind of set my goals based on what I wanted to do. So I looked up, for example, to my SI leader and I said one day I wanted to be an SI leader and here I am now as an SI leader. Um, I looked at the emergency response team, which is essentially a team that goes around campus providing medical aid um, to people who may be injured. And I said I wanted to join that team and I ended up joining the team and now I'm an executive. So I think it was kind of just setting goals um, as a young first year and then following through with them later on in my undergraduate degree, um, because it's probably one of the most rewarding memories I've made throughout my undergrad. Yeah, um, for me, I think the top thing would be within the labs that we have weekly or bi-weekly, I was able to make like my best friends, um, and I hopefully will be like lifelong friends, just because you, you know, it's, sometimes it was a little stressful, but then like you have some beside and you're going through it together and then outside of the labs and in class, you'll see them and then you'll be like, hey, like, how's lab going? Like, how are you working on it? And then just start like becoming friends. And then now like my, the friends I've made in my labs are like my best friends now, which is really awesome because um, school academic is so important, but also just like the people you meet and the network, um, the networking that can happen in university is, far far beyond high school so i'm really thankful for all the friends i've been able to meet in my program you know it, it's really encouraging to hear um the positive experiences that you both had as first year students and 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 you know even though they're not directly related to your courses um it really highlights the importance of the university experience overall and you know how a lot of stuff that happens and a lot of the positive experiences aren't just about classes um, much to my chagrin as a professor. Uh, for, for me, I think one of the, you know, it's a long time ago, my first year at Laurier, but uh, the opportunity to get into the classroom and teach my first class is what was what was really exciting and, and, and to engage with students. I, I was lucky enough that my first year teaching, I was teaching some small upper year classes. So it was a great group of students. I got to know them really well. Um, and so I, I'm going to stick with that as my answer. Uh, it's, it's really hard to pick, but I'm going to go with that. I, I think the one thing that comes across anytime I have to ask this question is how much everybody has loved their experience and enjoyed it. And I know you both have done a great job at taking advantage of those opportunities that you've had available to you. And it really does make such a difference um, in enriching your whole learning experience. So 
So again, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us today. And I wanted to thank everybody who joined in to watch this video. We hope that the experiences that Esther and Ekne have had uh, at Laurier have helped shape you with your perspectives around the Honor Science Program and being a science student at Laurier. So hopefully we will see you around campus soon.